Today, my friends, the calendar says the snow goose need not bathe to make itself white. Have a look at a snow goose. They sure don't need to. Beautiful, beautiful color. But neither need you do anything but be yourself. Well, wow, that's kind of an interesting comparison. You don't need to do anything to be yourself. But discovering what yourself is and feeling at home with yourself is quite difficult. I'm looking at photo albums here. I remember my first trip overseas as a professional person. Uh, I was speaking at a big conference and then doing smaller conferences as a result of that. And I'd co-authored a book. I was 25. It was no big deal, but I saw myself as uh, someone who had good ideas and some experience in the life of the church. And I was now in a position to bring ideas and insights. But everywhere I went, I was almost overwhelmed and uh, super impressed by everyone and everything I was encountering. It just looked bigger and better. This was in the United States and I was traveling to big churches and I, I came from Australia and the churches were smaller. And suddenly, being myself was at great risk because I thought, I don't have anything to offer. It's quite a serious thing, isn't it, when a human being feels that they have nothing to offer because it, they're questioning themselves, who they are. I wonder if you've ever felt like that. And I, I talk about your feelings because no one can make us feel like that. We somehow make a big choice, either conscious or subconscious, and we let what we're looking at or what we're hearing or reading make us feel that, and then we have to work with that. I loved the people I met. I was truly overwhelmed by them. And I thought, I, I can't do this anymore. I'd hardly started. It was my first one month tour as a speaker. But then I had to look at what was the essence of what I was saying. Did it apply to just my situation? Or could it be applied to these others? And was I really measuring what I was supposed to measure, which was you know, gee, that person's doing this and I'm not doing that. So is that a reflection on me? This is an ongoing battle with humanity and professions and the what we value and the way we express what we value. We have to value people, the essence of the person. Well, I learned to get over that and realized that everywhere I went, people could teach me great things, great insights, and they had great skills I could admire and learn from. But at the same time, people were saying, you have something to offer me. That's the way the church works. That's the way Christian faith works. Jesus valued the essence of everyone. I'd like to be more like that. And I'd like you to be too. I think together we can, looking at others differently and then realizing that as we are today, the essence of us, us is capable of great love. It's a natural thing, not clothes like we have to put on. Remember the snow goose, beautiful, beautiful and white. I like that whole idea of being just right the way you are. Always more to work on. Hey, I've got a lot to do. My dear friends, way out there, wherever you are, I hope that whether you're sitting, standing, lying, you're a valuable person. And thinking that, you'll help others think that about themselves. See you tomorrow or Monday.